Hi, in this quick hotel booking payment request add an update video, we'll go over the new much anticipated feature we've added since version 2.0. The new release of the extension allows the creation of more types of payment requests, deposit based, of any fixed amount, or a percentage of the booking value. My name is Valerie, you're on the Motopress YouTube channel, so please Keep watching if you want to learn more about the update. So, for those who are new, Payment Request is one of the products in the Motopress lineup developed especially for the hotel booking plugin. It automates your workflow and allows sending and collecting rental payments from guests before their arrival. There are several ways to collect payments before a guest arrival using the payment request add-on on your site. You already know that it's possible to collect payments both automatically and manually, and depending on the scenario, you can choose what works for you. Setting up the automatic option remains the same. You should go to Accommodation, Settings, and before we go to the Extensions tab, on this occasion, I want to show you that on my site I've activated the confirmation mode by payment, but it's worth mentioning for those who are new to this add-on and want to remind for existing users, the add-on is adjustable for any booking confirmation mode. So please keep this in mind. And for my site, I also enabled fixed deposits as a way to confirm the booking. And now we can navigate to, ex to the Extensions tab and click on the Payment Request link. To send follow-up payment request emails automatically, you'll just need to designate the time frame for sending them. I mean, in how many days before arrival it needs to appear in the inbox of your guest. If a client has already paid a deposit, uh, they will receive a request to pay the remaining sum of money. And if you don't use the deposit feature, the full payment request will be sent to those clients whose bookings have the status confirmed. Of course, a reminder will be composed based on the details your client provided, and um, the calculation will be done automatically. So, as you might already guess, such functionality with automation has been available since the plugin's first release. Nothing new here. But now let's dwell in more detail on manual methods, as the 2.0 update gives more manual control over payments, especially for bookings added manually by the website administrator or bookings placed by the guest and confirmed without a payment. To show you all the new options, I'm going to add a new booking manually from my WordPress dashboard. For this, I'm going to the Bookings menu and select All Bookings. After that, I click the New Booking button at the top and you'll be prompted with the general search availability accommodation form. Uh, first, I select check in and check out dates, confirmation type, and capacity, and click the search button. The system will show available accommodation types and their accommodations. I select a needed accommodation and click the reserve button. After that, I fill the forms uh, like on the uh, front end uh, checkout page. You must specify the number of guests, full guest name and rate. So the same procedure as on the checkout. So, and after filling all the information, I click the Book Now button. So, 
Now my booking is confirmed. Let's open my inbox to make sure. Here is the letter that says about it. It means we can now explore the new settings of the add-on. All new and existing options work with the confirmed and pending admin status only. And here is the new Metabox. As in the previous versions, you can optionally disable automatic reminders for an individual booking. Balanced view is sent both manually and automatically. The old logic has not changed. It sends payment request links for the full balance or after deposit balance. But first, let's try out a new deposit request. The deposit amount is calculated based on the plugin settings and all you need to do is just click on the link and uh, immediately after this you'll see the notification saying that the request was sent. To be sure that the emails you trigger are sent, we recommend updating the booking and tracking all the actions via the logs Metabox. Now it's high time to open the inbox. We've added a few more email templates and tags to support new types of payment requests. And this is the payment request letter for the deposit. So I click on the link. Uh, here is the example of the web page, a website page generated for a deposit payment request. You cannot worry about the payments. All the payments are processed smoothly and securely through your website based on the payment gateways you are enabled in the hotel booking plugin settings. In my case, it's Stripe. After finishing the payment process, your guest will receive one more letter which tells that the admin has received the payment. Great! Getting back to the added booking screen, I update the booking again to see all the new logs. Next, I check the total booking price table where I can see that the deposit was paid and I also see the remaining amount. Let's say I want my guest to pay the remaining amount, so-called after deposit balance, right now. Uh, to send another request, I scroll up to find the same meta box, and this time I click on the balance due link, and again I update the booking and check the inbox of the guest. The new letter is already there. Perfect. The link is inside the letter, so I click on it and, as expected, I find myself on the checkout page. So, the next step is actually paying the needed sum of money. After the payment process is completed, I get a confirmation on that again in the form of the letter. Uh, now I have nothing to worry about. My booking is paid. Now, after updating the booking in the dashboard, I double check the total price table to make sure the info is presented correctly here too. Great! Along with the balance due and deposit requests, we can create a new custom request by hitting the New Request button. With its help, you can request any flat or percentage amount. You can create as many requests as needed and delete them whenever you want. Let's say I got a call from the guest asking to pay extra for the service that 
I can provide for them. It's even possible to add a short description to the request. And after creating the request, don't forget to click the send link. The guest will receive the letter with the request immediately. After opening the letter, they can pay a set amount. As soon as the payment process is completed, a guest receives a confirmation letter informing that the admin received the payment. There is one more small update worth mentioning regarding this email. This particular template is triggered upon successful payment of requests and was introduced with version uh, 1.2. Now again, let's update the booking and take a closer look at the total price table uh, where we see that the extra payment is there too. Sure, this is only one scenario for the custom request. For example, a payment can be split into three parts instead of two. Uh, first, a guest pays a deposit and after some time, another percentage of the amount, and the rest of the sum can be paid upon arrival. In fact, there are many more use cases, everything depends on your policy and which payment options you want to provide to your customers. You probably noticed this copy link to each request. With its help, you can copy the payment link and send it manually in an SMS or via any messenger or personal email. Now I want to introduce you to the new email templates and tags to support these new types of payment requests. Even though you can customize these templates, each has a focus tag that helps dynamically generate payment amounts based on the type of the payment request. A balanced due request email uses the booking underscore balance uh, underscore due tag uh, to display the outstanding amount. A deposit request email uses the booking underscore deposit underscore amount tag uh, to show the calculated deposit cost. And a payment request email uses the booking underscore requested underscore amount tag, indicating the amount due according to booking custom settings. And again, I want to remind you that you can track all the actions for every booking via the logs meta box in the edit booking screen. So the summary of the whole thing is this, version 2.0 delivers revolutionary improvements of the plugins management toolkit and alongside the existing uh, feature of automatic and manual payment request links for the full balance or after deposit balance, now you have the option to send payment requests for deposits, fixed amounts or percentages of total booking costs. You can do that anytime and for any chosen booking. And if you're looking to bring more payment automation to the table, want to deal with the billing easier and of course manage better occupancy rates, thanks to on-time payments, uh, give the hotel booking payment request add-on a go. This add-on will allow your guests to secure their bookings easily and wait for the vacation with peace in mind. So that's it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you learned more payment request options. So hurry up to update your payment request plugin to the latest version to get access to the new MetaBox. If you already had a chance to test out a new feature on your site, let us know what you think about it and share your feedback with us by writing your comments in the comments section of this video.
Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates from Motopress. See you in the next video.